Like, are they effective? Which ones are effective? Which ones are hype? Yeah. Um, I think one that I would would be worth mentioning, all but the literature isn't super robust. It is a uh, boron. So that potentially has a suppressive effect on SHBG levels. There's some literature that looks promising, all but I wouldn't hang my hat on and say it's a guarantee it's going to suppress your SHBG from like the high end of the reference range to something that's like much more, you know, much better. But like it may, it does seem to work for some people. And in general, it can be a supporting adjunct that some people are, it's not something you typically get through your diet in like significant quantities anyways. Like often people will, it'll come into multivitamin typically, but the quantity that moves the needle for SHBG, I believe was like six to 12 milligrams and can be meaningful for actually liberating free testosterone, not for actually producing more total T. Um, the other one that's probably worth mentioning, ashwagandha, specifically, uh, extract that is standardized to a sufficient quantity of withanolize and not just your standard run-of-the-mill generic ashwagandha you want to look for ideally a patented you know uh sensoril or a ksm66 these are patented formats of ashwagandha that are standardized to a um, target yield so you know that what you're getting is what you're supposed to be getting rather than relying on you know certificates of analysis from China of a generic extract. So I would... What was that compound they're standardized to again? With analytes. Okay. It's right. like the... It'll show right on the label. It'll be like ashwagandha bracket standardized to X percentage of with, with analytes. And depending on if you have KSM 66, that's 5%. Sensoril is 10%. The difference between why you would pick one or the other is the actual total dose you could get away with using less milligrams of the case uh, of the sensoril because it has more with analytes per milligram inclusion in your product but they're both like and is impactful. that is that the active compound that affects testosterone yeah or? it seems to be and when i say testosterone yeah Clarify. it's like <laughs> the indirect effect via suppressing uh cortisol seemingly and kind of like the stress response manipulations that it can induce which are favorable for people who are anxious who have very stressful lifestyles who could benefit from it but it is not a catch-all supplement that will benefit everyone and some people it will push them into anhedonia territory which is like a numbing of emotion 